Hi, I'm going to do a little video about the Disney Life app and hopefully you will learn a little bit about it and if you're interested in subscribing to it, uh, it's totally worth it. So I'll just run you through some stuff in case you're curious and hey, let's go. Hi, I'm Dan Radcliffe and you are watching Unofficial Quafflecast. So this is my iPad, you might, uh, might be slightly, oh you can see me in the reflection there, might be slightly different on different platforms on your phone or wherever else you can get it on your Xbox or stuff. This is Hannah here, this is me, I'm Flynn obviously. Uh, and basically you can watch anything you can imagine on here, you can watch uh, films, I've been watching Tangled, you can watch Lego Star Wars, TV shows, uh, I'll just run you through everything basically. So you can watch movies here, and the movies are a mixture of animated adventures as we see here, so you can watch all like The Incredibles, all the Pixar films, you can watch all the old school, Hunchback, Little Mermaid, uh, let's just go into one of them and see what happens if we want to watch Mulan. So we go here, we can see some information about Mulan. Disney's 36 animated feature about the legend of Mulan. Blah, 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 blah. Crew, cast, languages. So you can watch it in all sorts of different languages. German, Spanish, Italian, French, and English here. Interestingly, not in Mandarin or Cantonese, but there you go. Another amazing thing is you can download it. So a lot like Netflix, you can download uh, shows and films. I sometimes download whole films and watch them on the go. I'll show you that later. But one of the most amazing things is this Behind the Magic. So every film has behind the scenes features. So this is just 1 minute 33, that's 55 seconds. Some of them are a bit longer, 5 minutes, deleted scenes. But then there's others that are just all about, oh, there's a little sing-along, I'll make a man out of you, which is great. I might do that later. And then more to explore. So it's got uh, other shows that you might enjoy, films, you understand. So that's the animated adventures. You've got action and adventure movies. So this has all the Pirates of the Caribbean films, Alice in Wonderland, National Treasure, anything that's been produced by Disney really, apart from Star Wars, the full films, but I think they're gonna be getting those soon. Uh, and I mean, it just keeps on going. There's so many films here, I can't show you through all of them. There's just a crazy amount of family classics and they're all incredible. So I've had so much fun watching all of these and watching some of the older films that I've not been able to see before. So, also you have the mini movies, so Paper Man, if any of you saw that, that was really cool. Uh, little Disney short. And uh, it's basically just got anything you can imagine on here and it's super fun. Um, so we could download this, I'm sure, and watch it on the go. The subtitles I've found don't always work. I, oh no, there are some here. This would be a terrible film to have subtitles on because it's all <laughs> black and white and there's no speech in it. Um, but I mean, you can just see how many different things there are here. It'd be so much fun. If you're a mum and you've got kids, this is perfect because you've got loads of small videos that you could put on in the car. You could download them and watch them on the go. Or you could get whole films here. Cinderella 3, A Twist in Time. And like Netflix, they've got all sorts of different categories. So it's very easy to find the kind of films that you want. And if you're not sure, you can just search. Uh, let's look for Toy Story and see what happens. So here's all the various different Toy Story things. So this is awesome. Let's go to books. I will try and take you to books. Books is uh, mainly for kids, I expect, but obviously anyone can enjoy it. This is um, to help your kids read, so this is amazing. You can go through all different reading stages. All of them are based on Disney stories. A lot of them are the complete story. A lot of them are sort of what I'd call fan fiction, just, you know, side stories made up by the Disney crew. Uh, so, I mean, I've not explored this very much because I'm of an adult reading age, but it looks really amazing and really special. So, that's films and books. Uh, I could go into more detail, but uh, if people are particularly interested, then let me know and I'll do another video. But for now, 
we don't want a half an hour video. So this is really cool. So box sets, you've got Jesse and everything, Austin and Ali. You've also got um, loads of old school, so the original Lion King animated series, all sorts of different things. And again, you can download each one of these, you can search by season and flick through. So let's say we're gonna watch this season. One of the only frustrating things sometimes is that when you start a new video, it takes a little while to load, but when you're watching a video and you've been enjoying it for some time, sometimes if you say we've got to the middle point in here, it's always high quality unless the Wi-Fi's slow. Um, so we've got to this point in the middle and oh no, the doorbell's rung, I need to go away and close my iPad. If I go back to it, sometimes it just, oh this is great, maybe it's an update. Gives you the opportunity to start over to resume. Sometimes with some films and things I've found it just sort of plops back to the beginning and you have to find where you were. But apart from that, that's TV shows. Let's have a look what there is. So there's Disney Junior. They've got all the different channels. So Disney Junior, Disney XD. So for maybe your late teens or, you know, anyone who's grown up can also enjoy those. Uh, Marvel is really cool. So they've got all these different Spider-Man adventures, all sorts of Guardians of the Galaxy stuff. Star Wars, probably my favourite part here. Uh, I've been watching the Droid Tales, which are really cool. And Droid Tales is basically just R2-D2 gets abducted by some mysterious person and C-3PO has to uh, try and find him. But on his adventures, people start asking him about the uh, stories and the shenanigans he got up to in the original Star Wars films. And all six of the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy, prequel trilogy, sorry. Uh, so they're really cool if you're nerdy about Star Wars and also they're just hilarious for anyone. Collections, so Tangled have their own series. Emojis, these are really cute. So these are like five minute little videos where I'll take you through the whole story of a film just by emojis. You've probably seen these on Facebook or whatever or on YouTube, but they're so cute. And there's music. I don't think I have music turned on right now, but let's. Well, we don't want any spoilers. So that's the emojis films. There's a bunch of those. There's also, I can't see them here, but there's some other, I'm sure we'll find them along the way. Something a little bit similar to that. TV shorts recently edited, weird and wonderful. So there's a lot of random shows that I've never seen before and it's quite fun just to flick through. They have these, which is great. So you've got your old Hannah Montana, your DuckTales, Recess, Kim Possible, everything. Um, so that's really fun. Now, music is one of the ones I use the most. They have all the soundtracks of all the animated films. I mean, there's certain films, so they've only just, this is, um, posting this sort of December 2017 and they've only just put Inside Out up so they're not up to date as in the last film that came out but um, they're pretty much up to date I mean Moana didn't come out that long ago that was this year I think um, Big Hero 6 Moana's not up on the films but you can listen to the music and you can download the music listen to it on the go and it's just incredible. I'm so happy that you can listen to all of the music. So we've got the Broadway music as well, in case you like that. Best, all these albums, it's just incredible. So uh, one of my personal favorites, high school musical albums. Um, so that's music. I mean, you can spend hours and hours and hours and hours on here and you can download them. Uh, so one of the final features, which is awesome, is you can watch live Disney Channel. I can't show you this I suppose for copyright reasons, but basically you can watch Disney Channel, Disney XD and Disney Junior uh, as much as you want. And that's incredible, wherever you are. So they have a little messages service uh, where they give you little updates about things that are on. 10% off Disney Store, there's lots of little promotions that they do which are really cute and really useful. You can select your favourites and your downloads, let's see what we've got downloaded at the moment. So this is what you see in your downloads. Uh, the Descendants, 
and Star Wars Lego and I've been listening to the new Olaf's Frozen Adventure soundtrack and the Peter Pan soundtrack which is wicked uh, cute it doesn't matter. so this is a little screen casting you can cast to your television or your computer or whatever you have Chrome and iTunes, uh, Apple TV with which is wicked my profile uh, you can choose your character you can choose who you are so let's say I want to be Donald Duck for the week or Goofy then I can be I can be Goofy, set your picture, change your name and pin. So you've got some security on there as well. And it changes the colour of all your stuff going on, which is really fun. And your main, the first account that you set, has parental controls. So this again is for people who have kids. And you can choose what level of uh, kind of scary or adult content you can get in the films. Uh, and you can close little accounts, delete profiles, whatever you need to do. It's all there. So that's my really quick, really, really quick whiz through the Disney Life app. Uh, there's lots of stuff I'm sure I haven't shown you, but basically it's just the most magical, wonderful place. I think it's something like £4.99 a month, which is totally worth it. And like you can see, Hannah's got her profile. I think you can have about five profiles or something like that, and you can download to your own devices. It's just, what more could you want? It's a really great app. I've really loved it. There's very few things that I would ever complain about with it, and it's got really up-to-date stuff, which I love so much, and loads of old-school stuff. So it keeps me happy, keeps me entertained, and uh, hopefully it'll do the same for you. If you've got any questions, comment below, or get in touch at Quavelcast on Twitter, and we'll get back to you. So have a really good week. Nice to do this vlog with you. Um, keep up, keep in touch, we'll see you soon. Bye!